Why, hello there. We made it to Thursday. An awesome Thursday. Boy, I'm just going to blind read this article. It's from the Reuters. Routers, Reuters, however you want to say it. But the headline alone has got my, my interest. Donald Trump sues Hillary Clinton, others over 2016 Russia collusion allegation. Ooh, this is going to be spicy. Let's hear her. The best president in my lifetime by far. And with that being said, I hope he doesn't run because we don't need another one-term president. Look at the crap that Joe Biden's doing. Hopefully we can recover. Washington, March 24th. Donald Trump on Thursday sued his rival in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Hillary Clinton and several other Democrats, alleging that they tried to rig that election election by trying his campaign or tying his campaign to Russia. The lawsuit covers a long list of grievances the Republican former president repeatedly aired during his four years in the White House after beating Clinton. It comes as he continues to falsely claim that the 2020 election defeat by Democrat President Joe Biden was a result of widespread fraud. Now, I do think there was widespread fraud, but I don't think it was in the ballots. I think the news played a big part of it. Now, we, and that's putting it loosely now. When I say widespread fraud, it was a lot of false narratives coming from the media. I mean, the guy, all you gotta do is l let him speak. But yet the media always had to lie. Like the, the famous one was they're flying people on both sides. And if you actually listen to it, he says, I condemn the hate, I condemn the white nationalists. And there was fine people on both sides. Acting in concert, the defendant maliciously conspired to weave false narrative that their Republican opponent, Donald J. Trump, was colluding with the hostile foreign sovereignty the former president alleges in a 108-page lawsuit filed in federal court in Florida. It must be a, yeah, a federal. Ooh. The suit alleges racketeering and conspiracy to commit injurious falsehoods, among other claims, and Clinton, the representative, did not immediately respond to the request for comment, and she would probably just blow it off because, you know, or lie. The suit seeks compulsory and punitive damage. Trump said that he was forced to incur expenses and the amount to be determined at the trial, but known to be excessive of $24 million and continually to occur. In the form of the defense costs, legal fees, and related expenses, defendant in Trump's lawsuit includes Christopher Steele, a former British intelligence officer. The, the dossier written by Steele, which was circulated to the FBI and the media outlets before the November 2016 election, set out unproven assertion that Russia had embarrassing information about Trump and some of his Republicans' campaign advisors, and that Moscow was working behind the scenes to defeat Clinton. In a six, not 600, but 966-page reported, a report issued by the Republican-led U.S. Senate Committee in 2020 concluded that Russia used Republican political Operative Paul Manafort and the WikiLeaks website to try to help Trump win the 2016 election. Actually, I think Hillary just wasn't that great of a candidate. Manafort worked on the Trump presidential campaign for five months in 2016. Russia alleged election interference, which Moscow denies, sparking the two-year-long U.S. investigation headed by special counsel Robert Mueller. And in 2019, Mueller released an exhaustive report that detailed numerous links between Russia government and Trump campaign, but did not charge. I mean, did he did he really do that? I mean, because it was up to the Congress, and Congress did not act. Which leads me to think that wasn't really anything. Just because you report it doesn't make it true. 
But I guess there were some links. I mean, they could have been dead links. So I do remember there was a Russian operative that said that they had dirt with, on Hillary. And they went to see, I think, one of Trump's son. But they decided not to move forward. So I guess that could be a link. I don't know. It's been a while. Trump campaign, but did not charge any Trump associated with com- criminal conspiracy. Mueller said that in his report that the Russian government perceived that it would benefit from a Trump presidency and work to secure that outcome and that the campaign expected that would benefit electorally from an information stolen through oh and released through Russia efforts. Um so this was pretty much a nothing burger. I mean they just had to throw this out there. Which is which is true. I mean I think there were some loose links between Russia and and Trump, but there weren't really anything serious because he wasn't impeached about that. He was actually impeached for something that Biden did, and he wanted that to be investigated because Biden had a prosecutor fired in exchange for aid. And I'm not sure if he actually stopped the aid or he was going to do a pause on it to get a reassurance that it would be looked into, but it wasn't a pig pro quo. Unlike Biden, Biden actually admitted on television, there's a recording of him admitting to it, but yet he's currently a president. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the result of this, if it actually even goes to trial, probably get dismissed, um, mainly because that's probably what's going to happen since a certain someone is going to be involved. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. With that being said, what are your thoughts below? Comment down below what your thoughts are. Do you think Donald Trump will win? Do you think this case is going to go anywhere? Or is it going to be a dead end? With that being said, smash and like the subscribe button on any and all platforms. Or just the platform that you're currently watching. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.